Yo, what up? Welcome. My name is JC, and we're back again to this new gaming whoa channel. Welcome to Cup Noodles Gaming, and today this is the day the waiting the one. What? <laughs> This is the day, the one that we're waiting for. Huh? Is that good? All right. Yeah, today is the day we're going to play the one and only Hogwarts Legacy. The game that we're all waiting for. The most awaited game this year. For me, <laughs> it's the one and only Hogwarts and Legacy. It just got released. Uh, today But yeah, I'm gonna play it late because uh, I got work to do earlier. So That's uh, That's a shame, but Still I'm gonna play it right now. First of all, I just want to thank Warner Bros games You know for releasing this game Everybody's been waiting for it Shout out from the Philippines and without further ado. Let's play this game Legacy Dark Arts Pack. Ooh, baby! You will love the Thestral Mount, the Dark Arts Cosmetic Set, and the Dark Arts Battle Arena. New mounts are accessible in the gear menu. After the default, Hippogriff is unlocked in the main questline. Alright. Access cosmetics in the gear menu by placing the cursor over gear of the same type and selecting the change appearance option. The battle arena is accessible in the Forbidden Forest. Once you progress the main quest line far enough to leave Hogwarts freely. Alright, baby! And we got the hot Hogwarts Legacy Dark Arts Garrison Hat. This Garrison Hat with Intricate de details is inspired by the dark side of magic. Wow, look at that hat. I just look at that hat. Mm -hmm. Crispy. Cosmetics are accessible in the gear menu using the change appearance option. Okay, let's claim that reward. Okay, hardware benchmark. An evaluation of your hardware has been completed and recommended. Graphical setting have been applied. Press what to view change apply. Uh, I think I'm just gonna hit continue. I trust you, Warner Bros. Hogwarts Legacy supports what? I haven't read that. Okay, adjust the slider until image is barely visible. Okay, so we can adjust this. I don't see any image. Okay, there you go. Ooh, barely. So, let's see. Yeah, I think that's good enough for me. Hey, note that I don't have a good monitor. So, yeah, just leave me. <laughs> just leave me. <laughs> Alright. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term begins on 1 September, or 1st of September, rather. Pre pre <laughs> Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree of the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery 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 prohibits 
prohibits the, the use of magic by those under a range of 17 outside school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Eliasar Fig to help you hone your spell casting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term fees and the sorting ceremony. Sincerely yours. M. Weasley. Professor Weasley? Oh, so there's a Weasley a hundred years ago before the Harry Potter. Alright, uh, this is the time. This is the part that we're gonna create our character. That's a girl, man. Come on. Hey, this is the one that I saw. What? Uh, what's this? Voice? Okay, let's go to the character first. Hmm, there's no bald guy? I mean, come on, I'm a bald guy. Isn't it obvious that you want your character to be just, you know, look like you? But, what's this? Oh, it's a bald guy. It's not bald. What's this? Come on, we don't want glasses. Uh, what's my skin color? A little bit greenish. Greenish. Uh, let's go back. I don't want this face. It doesn't look like me. Oh, I'm so ugly. There's no one here that looks like me. Maybe this guy? Uh, yeah, definitely not. Uh, face shape. Hmm, I'm a little bit fat, so. Hmm, let's see. Hey, bear with me, guys. Just wanna. This is the part we can choose a hair. And this is the part right here. Not that ball. Come on. This one. It has hair. This is a girl. Uh, maybe in this game I want to have hair. Huh? Just a little bit? Maybe this, but yeah, my hair is thin. Oh, that's cool. So we got cool hairs. Wow, it's a good game. Though I haven't played it yet, I'm excited. Come on, just pick whatever. I think this kind of looked like me. I mean my hair, if it grows, but let's let's go back. Uh, what's this? Oh yeah, the face shape. Face shape. Mm. I'm a fat guy. Come on, give me, give me. Oh, this one. Yeah, I think this one kind of looked like me. Clean face complexion. Okay. This guy is handsome. 
doesn't really look like me. But hey. Maybe. <laughs> it looked like me without brows. Yeah. Let's stick with the first one, I guess. Or second. What? Uh, this one. This looks like. Nah, okay. Oh, maybe this one. Huh? Like that? Uh, really, this is the one. The one. The one. Does my eyebrows look like that? I don't think I even have eyebrows. Yeah, it's taking so long. I know, I know. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. Oh, really? That was quite... I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. A few cobwebs and... I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help. It was wonderful. I be... That was quite something. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing... I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to... I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. That was quite something. So, yeah. We'll stick with the original one. Uh, difficulty, uh, I think, let's stick to normal in the meantime. Name your character. Alright, we'll name it Cup, and the last name will be Noodles. Isn't that great? I know. I'm a wizard. Start your journey, let's go. Here we go, here we go, guys. Here we go, the one, the one that we're baiting for so long. Come on, come on. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the term begins. <laughs> Eliasar! George! Glad my rather cryptic hey, description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I. Best not speak here, Eliasar. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Companion. A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. 
Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard! How did you- Wait! We do- Kind of like watching a movie. That was good. Even though there's a bit. But yeah, Are you alright? That's my fault. You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific oh. place. Yeah, baby. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. from London and the carriage travelled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins, do you the think... The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she 
And now George died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Mind your step. <laughs> Where do you suppose you want? Uh, maybe we can change the setting a bit. Uh, yeah, every, everything's low. Or maybe. Let's just leave it as it is. It brought us here. A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes, a powerful magic wielded. Definitely a lot of glitch. Let's see. Hmm. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Hey, there's something's is that ice? Way. It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. To perform a basic pass. All right. Let's see. Okay, I'm focusing. Your camera to select an active target. Right. Rock on. Hey, that was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Ah, uh, now I got. I can use my wand now. Your wand looks improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. Do you know who I am? Huh? Professor Fig? I'm a new guy. Ah! Oh, up there! Wait for me, Professor Big. I just need to. Oh, what's that? There's a chest here, Professor Fig. 
I got 42 coins. Professor Fig. Really counting on you this time. How are you gonna go there? Steady yourself! Yeah, there's a lot of Repero! their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Seems out of place. Definitely need this statue. Let's check it out. Uh, let's see. The minimap shows your surroundings with the U arrow in the middle. This is arrow down whatever is your current objective. Alright. Press and hold V to toggle quest objective details. Sounds good. Uh, yeah. Investigate. Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. Really? Enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? Yeah, doesn't look good at all. Uh, yeah, uh, What's this? Professor Fig! What is this? Kind of like a mirror. Um, do you know what's the how odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. Yep, let's change the, the setting. Um, do you know the movie? Uh, what was that again? No, where, where there's a vampires and wolves oh no I know I know what the movie is it's Van Helsing you know there's a mirror just like that and then you can go through that mirror and then you're gonna be teleported uh, to another place kind of like a portal Merlin's name? What happened? Godric's heart. Oh. Where are we? I, I don't believe it. 
I know where this is. Oh, I heard something. I heard something. Or something. There's definitely a monster here. You heard that growl? Or a snore, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, it's a snore. Oh, look. Uh. Yeah, there's a. What do you call that? A goblin? Yeah, there's definitely a goblin. Hello? Like me. What up, handsome? <clears throat> Just kidding. <clears throat> but he kind of looks like me. <clears throat> <clears throat> hey, goblin. It can't be. Yeah. Definitely looks like me. Much uh, Just a moment. <laughs> Ooh. To Gringotts Wizarding Bank. I knew it. Just forgot the name. Vault number 12, I presume. Mm, where's the key? You got the key, Precisely. right? Precisely. Give him the key. The key? I told mm -hmm. you. The white sport key. Oh, yes, of course. Of course. Oh, okay. This way, then. That's why. Mm. Stay this close. Awesome. Uh, keep your hands inside the cards if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> How many volts are there in Greyhounds? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You want to take a breath? A what? The ball washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Wow. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. That's really deep. Vault number. Vault 12. Hey, why are you looking so Momentous day. <laughs> yeah, very momentous to him. On your way. Still gonna go? Definitely look like me. Hey, what up, Sonny? <laughs> Good game. Professor, hmm? the armband that guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container. No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. character looks like me. Here we are. See? Alright, let's do this. Let's go. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. 
In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. What's in here? What's in here, goblin? Vault 12. It's gonna be Thank you for your help. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you mean... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Okay. Best of luck. Now you're locked up. Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing <laughs> charm. No time like the present. No. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand He's and a professor. focus. He cannot kill him. Wow. Okay. Oh, this is hard. Revelio. Let's try that. Revelio. There. I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Awesome. A door. Well, that's a start. Yeah, let me try to kill him. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... This guy's powerful, I do, you Professor. Know. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Revelio. Lumos. We got Lumos. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. <laughs> there will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. something up ahead what is it that? that glow again but on the floor Lumos. what happened when I moved towards the glow it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about are you all right yes sir I'm fine you seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. Yeah. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Ooh, I'm gonna be able to use Lumos. Come on, let's let's try this. Hey, Lumos, come on. There you go. The one light 
lightning charm which has automatically been slotted to your spell set all right lumos creates a light at the tip of your wand to help you see in darkness yeah good to know lumos well done right. now the reflection is turning towards me it does follow the light Professor Fig! Professor, oh, where here. are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Oh. 
Lumos. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. What? You're on your own? You're gonna kill this guy? Statues with yeah, their reflections. To their reflections. And yeah, I think this is the last one here. Hey, stand up, statue. Oh, man. Lumos. Oh, I think there's a time. Come on. I need to get them all to stand at once. I'm not gonna supposed to do that. Oh, I know. I'll just just be here. It seems I have no choice. I'm gonna to have to fight my way out of here. Man, I'm gonna fight this guys. They should be dead already. Protego! Rebellion. this floating above that basin that is no mere basin that is a pensive for viewing memories oh okay i know what i wonder that is. whose memory is that 
maybe it's your life's memory. Okay, let's use memory that is. Follow my lead. It's a trap. In the dead. Now they're dead. Definitely dead. Too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the ritual wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We will... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have it. I have no patience for traitors. Now... What do you mean traitors? Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. 
Where are we? I guess that's the dark <laughs> it forest. It can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both, wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. I know it. This is Hogwarts and this is the dark forest. It's uh, loading, I guess. What's gonna happen next? Uh, yeah. What house am I going to choose? Am I gonna choose, or am I gonna be able to choose rather? I hope so. Hmm. Or maybe it's best if they're gonna ask like questions, and uh, with your answer, they're gonna sort you to. The right house or whatever whatever oh, they want good we haven't missed the sorting ceremony oh, here. i'm no expert but You're about to find out. that seems more appropriate Ooh. now i need to study this locket as soon as i can but first i must contact the ministry they need to know what happened to george and be warned of ranrock for the moment i ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Uh, what's this guy again? Phineas Nigellus. Black. Oh, it's one of the black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Is the headmaster? Fig! Nice of you to join us. Awesome. The sorting sediment is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has. Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might That's still good. be able to get you sorted this evening. Come on, <clears throat> Pop Noodles. I'll be in touch. Yeah, follow Professor Black. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Oh, this is Professor Weasley. Alright, now we're gonna be sorted. What's gonna happen? I want Ravenclaw. Why? I just want it. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Hmm. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder. Mm. 
I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Mm, what is it? A desire to learn? I do enjoy a good puzzle, and I believe I have a ready mind. Mmm. You're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind. Quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. How do you know? Man, th this is what I want in the first place, so I'm not going to choose a different house. Again, that's what I want in the first place. I'm going to choose Ravenclaw. Uh, yep. Gotta accept it. Ooh, I'm a Ravenclaw! Let's go! Isn't that cool? You belong in Ravenclaw! Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Yeah, this guy's straight. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Kind of nice to meet you as well, Professor. Professor as Deputy right. Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Um, can I use... It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. Who lived longer? The ghost or the poltergeist? A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non-being can never have been. done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Yeah, baby. Uh, yeah. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Hold on. Um, I'll see if we can use control.
Let's, uh... Lumos. Let's see what we have here. Revelio. Revelio. Okay, let's go out. Down, we're gonna go up. Okay, we're gonna go down. Revelio. Revelio. What's that? Let's do Revelio everywhere. Right here, let's check it out. Oh, we can unlock it. So, yeah, I think we're gonna need to go upstairs instead. Oh, that's how you run. the reaction I wanted. Oh well. Right. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to Everett. some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. Huh. I'm glad to be day. here. Ready for classes to start. Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are firm, but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bomb back to me. Nice meeting you. You too, Everett. Okay. Introduce yourself to Samantha. Where's Samantha? Hey, Samantha, where are you at? I can't imagine starting a musical business. Oh, it's this. Revelio. Revelio. Who's that? Ignatia Wildsmith? Uh, let's see what we have. Okay. Lumos. Lumos. Yeah. 
definitely not that one. Revelio. to be in the perfect place a place he'll be happy with but i can't seem to find it oh, great nice. golden gobstones i want him to thrive here golden gobstones <laughs> my own little expression i bought this dittany seedling from home and i so want him to feel cozy dittany is amazing isn't it so much healing power in such a little plant <laughs> i've a bit of a thing for plants as you can see <laughs> pleased to meet you I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Disney used in Wiganwell potion? It is! Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about the Wiganwell potion. Of course! I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory, it seems to know a lot about practical magic. Yeah, he's quite knowledgeable. Professor Fig does know a great deal about, um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wiganweld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. Hello, hello, hello. Sound check. Sound, sound check. Sound, sound check. Sound check. Hello, 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 hello. Students grow their own ingredients. Yeah, Is it common them. practice for students to grow their own ingredients? Oh, yes. In fact, our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages it. And I don't think Professor Sharp, our potions master, cares where you get your ingredients as long as your brews are all perfect. An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps. But it runs in my family. We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. I suppose you could say herbology is in my roots. Hello, 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 hello. Nice talking to you. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your Dittany. Thank you. And good luck to you too on your first day. Yeah. 
and I can eat. Lumos. Lumos. I should like to retire to a small hamlet. All right. And this is Deep the breath. guy. Oh, it's a guy. Aim it. Why, hello. Would you like to take a look? Can't see too much. Hello, in the day. can you hear me now? Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I'd recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. Hmm. I find the stars. I hope astronomy's on my schedule. Sounds interesting. I have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all 50 yeah. years. You will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you! Hey there. Okay. New Ravenclaw. Professor Weasley is looking for you just outside. You'd best not keep her waiting. Revelio. Who's speaking? Hey, are you speaking? What's this? Ah, uh, okay. Let's go out. Oh, look at that. She's reading while walking. Hmm. Hey guys, why can't I go there? Uh. Oh, okay. Oh, I think we're gonna go down here. Bye bye. Good morning. Good I trust you're morning. ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Oh. Here you are. We got a book. What happened? Whoa. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Okay. This way. Lumos. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic. Rebellion. Educate Lumos. yourself about wizarding law. Revelio. Hey, wait for me. Come on. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student.
Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust and see what details the field guide can provide? Okay, we got something. Ravenclaw bust. This bust created in honor of Ravenclaw House resides in the lofty Ravenclaw Tower. Alright. We got one point. Collect field guide pages in Hogwarts. We've just unlocked a field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges appears here. Okay, field guide challenges are the only way to acquire experience points or XP. Open field guide. Here we go. We got field guide right here. So this is your restarting level. XP earned from challenges increases your level and power. Awesome. Uh, okay. So I'm level one. Ravenclaw. Ooh. <laughs> level one. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. The challenges menu to continue. Let's see what we have here. Okay, collecting your first guide page, unlock a new challenge category. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. The field guide pages to continue. Okay, select that. Okay, let's see. Collect build guide pages. Gear appearance reward. Hogwarts regalia spectacles. Each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlock a tier you complete. From appearances to critical upgrades. Alright. Rewards you must be claimed from challenges menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. Sure thing, sure thing. But let's let's go back and get that glasses <laughs> right there. Did I get it already? I think I'll get it. Mm. Oh, got sleepy. Uh, let's see. Uh, ooh, I'll be able to change the outfit now. Um, okay, here's the face wear. Um, should I wear the glasses? I'm, I'm just gonna try it. Yeah, doesn't fit me. Uh, no. Let's go. Inventory doesn't have anything. Uh, let's go back to gear. Cloaks. How about... Hey, where's my... Hold on. Why am I going to be able to find the dark arts clothing? To here in the inventory? Where is it? Yeah, come on. Handwear. Okay, we can put that. Uh, black leather gloves. Doesn't have any magical properties. Hat. We got hat. All right. Uh, yeah. Where are we gonna get that? Okay, yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, collections. Okay, we don't, what's this? Okay, here's my collection.
Where can I get this? Huh? I wanna, I wanna use this. Uh, let's go back to gear. Maybe I'll be able to wear it this time. Yeah, it's still no. Why? Maybe I'll wear it later. Hmm? Okay. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that. Inside and outside of the castle. Look at that. Revelio. Sure thing, Miss, uh, I mean, Professor Weasley. Weasley, Weasley, uh. Weasley. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Yeah, but you're just walking. We can run, though. Ooh, there's something right here. Let's check it out. Oh, there's a door. Reveal. No, no. Let's check it out. This one first. Roll. 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 Roll, 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 roll. Let's go right here. Revelio. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's go back. Let's go back. We can't get far from her. Uh... Should I go back maybe next time? Uh, yeah. I'll be back. Revelio. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay, I guess this is kind of like uh, a portal. A portal where we can uh, teleport. Uh, yeah, fast travel. That's the word. Okay. Ooh, this is the map. Uh... Flu Flames location. So where are we at? Uh, right. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house, common rooms, and the Great Hall. Okay. This is, in this view, <laughs> you can see the flu flames available, <coughs> excuse me, in that region. Green flu flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house, common room. Gray flu flames reveal the location of undiscovered flames. Okay. This is the one upstairs. Where should we go? Okay. Revelio will clearly highlight nearby. Uh, yeah, white outline indicates your active torque. Yeah, thanks for that. Not gonna read it anymore. You're too fast. Oh, who's dead? Uh... And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Hmm, okay. Revelio. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak.
that should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Okay. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Uh, what exactly is Defense Against the Dark Arts? Can you tell me more about arts? the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Uh, thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Um... I'm afraid there is... I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Yeah, I think that hugs me is only for PlayStation at the moment. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I did try to evade her questions, though I feel a little deceptive. That said, I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. 
All right, let's check that out. Oh, uh, okay. This icon represents main quest. Completing main quest will further the story, unlock new features, and grant XP. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. Some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. In this case, you will need to be the required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments or as quest rewards. Uh, take track. Take a quest. I come with. Mm, okay. Pilgrim map shows Professor Ronan class astronomy. Uh, not not yet. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. Mm. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. All right, let's uh, see what we have here. Uh, cast charm focus. What's this charm? Oh, okay. That sounds good. Okay. Revelio. Central Hall Fountain. This ornate fountain features intricately carved statues of uh denizens of the magical world including a set of stone sirens encircling the uh, fountain space uh, yeah. I think I, I saw this move but yeah Even it's not moving Rebellion. no not moving or not but my father worked at the ministry so obviously we're an important family my yeah, father once nearly died whatever. in the fire of a streeler, so I'd say that beats working at the ministry any day. You guys what's don't have any hat. More important than another? I mean, I'm more important than you. Money. Yeah, what's this? This cannot possibly be as difficult as it seems. Hello. I, I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Rebellion. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Uh, yeah, let's remember that guy right there. Uh, okay. Sure thing. Wonderful. Revelio. Let's try Revelio here. Nothing? Right here. Hey, what up? Hey, what are you doing? Hey, hey. How am I gonna be able to get 
able to catch that. Revelio. Lumos. Come here, you paper. Fine. Revelio. Lumos. Yeah. Revelio. Nothing. All right. This looks like the location from the painting. Yeah. I what know. could be so special about it? The statue of Gregory the Smarmy. This statue with an ingratiating green depicts the medieval a wizard Gregory this Marley. The wizard famous for inventing Gregory's Antus A potion that makes the drinker believe whoever gave them the potion is their best friend. Oh, this sounds good. I want that. Revelio Lumos Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Oh, okay. Put it back here. Put it back this moth right here. Uh yeah. <laughs> I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Ah, sounds good. How's you, Nora? Hey, you there? What up, Lenora? Lenora! I solved the mystery of that Lenora. painting. Okay. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. A pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! Revelio. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Can't wait to go outside. Hey, hey, come here, you flying paper. Rebellion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna need to solve you soon. But now. Yeah, I'm gonna need to go to my class. You can't imagine how inconvenient sure travel was before I invented flu powder. So you invented flu powder? Yeah, good for you. What's up? What were you doing right there, huh? Hey, why can I talk to you? Fine. Hey, this is the guy. Hey, can you see me? I'm, I'm right here. Am I... Revelio. Am I going to the right direction? I don't even know. What's this right here? Revelio. Memorandum. 31st of December 1875 from Aurora office Borgen and Burks Borgen and Burks has 
had an increased amount of activity outside the ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more horrors to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new additions. Further instructions to follow. Who is in here? So I guess we'll use Rebellion. uh money. What's this? How did I how did I get that? Oh, so if you press T, uh, you'll be able to see what this. Arrest the momentum! Slow boat objects and enemies giving you extra time to plan your next move. What's this? Glacius. Ooh, so we got this, guys. What's this? Avada Kedavra. Oh, I knew it. Avada Kedavra. Kills enemy instantly. Wow, what's this? Causes more enemies to write in pain as they damage over time. Curses the victim and curse enemies. Imperial. Never forces enemy to fight as if they were your companion. All right, so in this guys, what's this? Basic attack. Uh, Rebellio, Protego, Stupefy. Ah. Uh. Okay, let's go outside. Revelio. Revelio. Or maybe I'll just use the map. I think I want to explore. Oh, there's someone here. Hey, can it? Why? Oh, why can I speak? How did I do that? Nothing? Revelio. I think I wanna I want to remove the Oh what's, what's this we have? Ministry menu. Okay. I want to remove the hat. Uh, yeah. We'll remove that in the meantime. I just teleport uh oh yeah I forgot he can use B okay well we'll choose one This is where I'm going. Uh. Why is it not opening? There you go. Revelio. Wyvern Fountain. This fountain in the Transfiguration Courtyard has a likeness of a wyvern on top and serve as, serves as a relaxing place for students to gather 
uh, despite rumors to the contrary, possibly started by Sir Cadogan or K. Dogan. This is most uh, assuredly not meant to be the wyvern of Y, slain by the likely knight in spite of himself. Let's check out this wyvern right here. Oh, that looks good. Wow. Anyway, there's a, a chest here somewhere. Rebellion. Oh. Let me see right here. There's definitely a chest right here. Let's look for it. Hey, there's a cat. Is it a cat? Yep, definitely a cat. Or maybe this is Professor McGonagall. Revelio. Ooh, 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 what's this? What's this? Off on another adventure, are we? Yeah. Well, we go back here some other time. But right now, I'll be late for my class. good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity. Especially in the heat looks of battle. Like me. Now, let's practice what we've just learned. Starting with something small. Alright, let's learn this. Oh, one more time. Levioso right here. Levioso. So it's Levioso, not Leviosa. Yeah, that's iconic. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let's check this one out. Oh, I think I'm gonna try this one. Me? Yeah, because I'm the, the handsomest. Handsomest? Is there a word like that? I'm not sure. Let us begin with a basic cost. Sure thing. Uh. Okay. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember. Levioso. Good. Now, well done. <laughs> Sounds good. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, I want <laughs> yeah, to fair gonna duel. kick your ass, Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Oh. 
They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again. Well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Oh. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, Lemiosa. not the other way around. Lumos. Revelio. Can I go here? Oh uh, no, I can't unlock it yet. Uh, let's see what we have. Levioso! Lumos! Levioso! Revelio! Huh! Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair <laughs> enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Really? Exclusive and unsanctioned? Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library. You just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Okay. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Okay, everybody. Until next time. Now we know this guy, Sebastian, is a bad influence. Okay, what happened? I level, leveled up. I know what this is. I can, can I go inside? Revelio. Hey, there's a statue right here. No, he's gonna... What are you up to now? Who's that? Oh. Who are you? Wildsmith. Ignatia Whitesmith. Wildsmith, whatever. Oh, I'm sipping tea. Oh, there's nothing here. Yeah, whatever. Ooh, look at that. Who's that guy? Hmm. 
Okay. Well, I think I'm just gonna save it right here for now. Uh, hold on. How are we gonna be able to do that, anyways? Uh, settings. Okay. Save. And that's it. I'm gonna stop right here um, I got some work to do tomorrow but for now we'll stop right here and we'll go back tomorrow so this is the, the, the episode one uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed hit like and don't forget to share our first experience here at Hogwarts Legacy I'll see you guys tomorrow peace